So today we are unboxing Power in the Box. We've got our boxes just arrived, and this is what you're going to get if you order one by mail or courier, or you send Uber for it. It comes in a box all sturdy. If you can just pull that box away from me. This is only about 20 odd kilograms, I think, 22 kilograms. And that hole is for your, um, for your cables, just note it. There we go. Okay, so what you're going to find in here is your battery. It's a 12 volt, 80 amp deep cycle battery. And your, your UPS unit and the cabling and so on is here. And it's, it's been wedged in so it's nice and stable. Let me just take this out the way. This is your UPS unit. This is exciting. Hey? <laughs> Pops in your fingers when you take it out. <laughs> so there's the unit. And I'll just show, take you through the unit quickly. So um, this is your display, which you'll, you'll find out all about the display in the manual, the manual which is here. I'll just finish unboxing it. Take everything out. Okay, so this is the Crystal Hybrid uh, 1200. 1200 stands for 1200 volt amps, which is equivalent to about 740 watts. Now that's the maximum capacity that this can use, can, can run uh, without damaging this unit, but it, we don't want to run our batteries at that amount because then we're really going to wear our batteries out. You know, when you, when you use all the, the capacity of a thing like this, what you're doing is you, it's, like, it's like going to the red line in your rev counter in your car between every gear. You can imagine your car is not going to last very long. So the idea is to, to rev it up to your, like in a car, up to your two, three thousand every time. And so, so we, actually, we, we recommend that you don't use more than about 200 watts, 200, 250 watts as your, as your load when you run this machine. That way your battery is going to last, give you a full cycle. This battery is uh, designed to give 1,600 cycles. Charge, discharge, charge, discharge. To, to about 50% of its capacity. So part of what we do is we show you how to manage your battery and and how to and how much power to draw. And that way you don't end up damaging your battery. Okay, so getting back here, you'll see there are two places for your output. Now this is where you're gonna plug your power source. You plug a multi-plug in here and then you run your various power sources. And then around the back, we have, this is, your, this is what you'll connect to your grid, your 220 volts in the wall, and it stays connected. And then over here, you see, this is where you plug in your solar for when you want to upgrade to solar um, and go off the grid completely. You plug your solar in there, plus minus, it's, it's plug and play. And then on this side, let me just take the protective cover off. This is where the battery gets connected. So we're going to connect the battery now with these cables that came with it. I'm going to connect the battery now and then uh, feed it through and connect up the whole system. We'll, we'll get it fired up right now. Because it's always, it's always wise when you're connecting the cable like that to keep them separate because there might be some residual charge in here or you might, be, you might uh, do the battery first and you don't want the sparking. You'll see the way we do it. We, we do it in a way that gives you a very good contact. You don't want to do it that way. You want to do it nice and flat against the back. Just a nip it. You, all you're after is a really good battery connection. Okay, so it's time to assemble this all. We're going to put these through here. Okay, now the thing to remember here is we always do the negative, the positive, which is the red one, second. It would be positive second. It's counterintuitive. So we're going to put the negative first. And something to note is that the lugs here are, are these are the big side and the, the small side are going straight onto the UPS. But if it doesn't fit, you know, you've got it the wrong way around. So we're going to put black on negative. Be careful to get this right, otherwise there's lots of sparks. Okay, and it's just nice and finger tight. Now this one, when we, when we touch this, there must be a bit of a spark, but this is a small one. Um, there we go, see that? That's normal. If it makes a big spark, instead of a little one like I did there, you take your hand away very quickly, you might have your polarity wrong. In other words, you're putting plus onto minus. 
I'm just trying to check here before I switch the unit on. So just to double check before we switch the unit on, red onto the plus, and red onto the plus, and the black onto the minus, and the black on the minus. So we're all set to go, put this cover on, and there we go. We're now good to go, you just thread this through nicely, and it's nice and snug. This gets plugged into the wall, but if we switch it on now, we're going to have power straight away. Come in close. And you can see it's giving uh, input is naught. And the input is referring to, the input there is referring to this, what's coming from the wall. Can just zoom out a little bit. So, so when we plug this into the wall, um, that's going to give you 230 volts, more or less. Your output, in other words, this is producing uh, 229 volts here. Just zoom out to there. It's producing 220 volts here and come back to this picture there and we can see there that it's busy it's busy using the first quarter of the battery and it's busy supplying the load the only load that's at the moment is the, the fan the heating fan it's good to go so you'll see this light will flash can you just you it? this light will flash when this is unplugged from the mains now we, as as uh, as providence would have it uh, I can't plug this into the wall now because we're in load shedding. We're load shedding when the video is done. You can hear the fan running. But this is flashing to say that the, that the power is off. So your only indication when you're using this, because this is going to be permanently plugged into the wall, and this is permanently going to be plugged into the, into the load. So your load's going to be in here. Your PC, your laptop, all those kind of things are going to be plugged in here. This is plugged into the wall. Don't ever do that, please. You're just going to short circuit the whole system. So this stays plugged in. And when you're sitting at your office, your only indication that the power has been, that you're being load shed, is you'll hear the fan come on. And that starts flashing. That's it. So right now it's busy working. Okay, this is, I'm just going to test it using, a, this is a 300 watt uh, drill. You plug it in here. It's good to go. So that thing shows you how much power you're using. No, no, over there, over here it will show you. It's it's going like half load. See that? So you saw that it came up to half load, which is about right, because this is 350 watts, and this thing draws uh, can, can do 700 watts. Okay. So this is about the maximum load I would actually use on this inverter, on the continuous basis. In fact, it's above the maximum. Okay, that's it. There's nothing much else to it. It's very simple. I've made a meal of it, but actually it's very simple. You just put, the, put red on red, black on black, take it out of the box, and it's good to go. So your battery normally comes fully charged, but plug it in anyway. And the, the, just something to know from a running point of view is the fan, you can hear the fan. Probably let me get my microphone close there. You'll hear the fan while the battery is being charged. And when the battery is charged, it'll stop. Uh, the fan will go off. And when the power goes off and this thing starts working as an as a, uh, uninterrupted power supply or an inverter, then you'll hear the fan again. So whenever it's converting your AC current to your DC current or from your DC current back to your AC current, the fan will come on. And so when you're sitting at your office and you hear the fan go off, you know, ah, oh, the power's back on and the battery's charged, ready to go again. Let's make load shedding history together. What we do is, this is phase one. Phase one is where you use the grid to charge your batteries and run your, your home office or your home or for your students. And phase two is where you come with uh, solar power and you plug your solar panels in here. It's, the brochures will tell you all the details about the solar panels. You can talk to us about solar panels too, and you can put various sizes on. But your stage two here is where you, you connect the solar panels and you leave this unplugged. On a rainy day, you might plug it in if you've got problems. And then you take your home office off the grid. And that's the objective, is to get your home office or your your students um, or your home set up with your Wi-Fi and a couple of laptops completely off the grid.